Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, I'm Fury, your host of the most to bring you a story about ghosts. Well, they're technically called cursed spirits, but they're basically the same thing. Why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe before Judgment confiscates your life while I dive right on into today's chapter. Today's chapter being Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 166, Tokyo Colony Number 1, Part 6. It begins with a good old flashback to what I presume is Higuruma's time as a student in a law firm. He's talking to someone named Yoshizawa who isn't important so just throw that name right in the garbage. Like we learned previously, Higuruma is amazing at what he does, so amazing people think he should be a judge. Those final words create the ominous segue into the present where Judge Man is, uh, still losing its mind. It haunts me in my sleep. My sleep paralysis demon moves on to the next step of the technique. When a death penalty has been issued, Higuruma's hammer transforms into the Executioner's sword. Wrong sword. There we go. The Executioner's sword is basically just a cheat code since it kills anything it cuts. However, let's put that aside because here's where we get to the real meat of this chapter, where we get Higuruma reacting to Yuji's admission of guilt. As a public defender, Higuruma was exposed to people's flaws. In fact, exposing and being exposed to people's flaws was quite literally a part of his job. Despite trying to see that darkness as something uniquely beautiful to humans, he naturally grew to find it disgusting, and eventually began to immediately see people for their hideous flaws. Even if you try to light that darkness, no matter how radiant that light, it will still only be swallowed by the void. It's an interesting idea that ties back into Jujutsu Kaisen's reoccurring theme of the differences between humanity and cursed spirits. The fact that we all produce cursed energy, which is literally created from negative emotions, ties into that. You could say that cursed energy is just as intrinsic to humans as it is to cursed spirits. I do think one of the reasons Yuji has been able to resist Higuruma's nihilistic outlook on life was his fight with Mahito in Shibuya. He's learned to not necessarily need evidence to see if what he's doing is good or bad, just having faith that what he's doing is the right thing. To move on to something different, what I want to look at is the similarities between Higuruma and Amai. Both of them are very observant, particularly when it came to other people. What I mean is that both Amai and Higuruma were very perceptive to other people's emotions. Amai used his ability to read people to his benefit, staying on their good side and avoiding conflict. However, this came as a curse to Higuruma, who was stung badly whenever one of his clients, well, cursed him. I might just be, probably am, reading too deep into this, but that sensitivity to other people's emotions could be one step below actually being a Jujutsu sorcerer. Like, let's use Kenjaku's hierarchy of existence to explain it. At the bottom, there is normal people who are, well, normal. Then, there are those who are at least somewhat sensitive to other people's emotions and, by extension, others' cursed energy. Then, there are sorcerers who are aware and in control of their own cursed energy. And after that are beings like Tengen and the higher being Kenjaku is trying to create. What I think Kenjaku did was take those on the second step with some sensitivity and raise them to the next, assuming they aren't reincarnated sorcerers. This probably won't have any real impact on the story, I'm not even sure if I'm getting this right, but it's just a thing I noticed. Back in the chapter, Yuji and Higuruma are fighting in a way that bears a striking resemblance to Yuji's fight with Mahito, to be honest. With one person circling around and fighting the other guy who's holding a single position. The fact that this battle also surrounds a similar philosophical debate doesn't help. Despite Yuji's best efforts, it looks like Higuruma is about to get that guaranteed kill when we jump back to the rest of that flash back. Higuruma declines that promotion idea due to not being able to stand that ugliness he tried to see as beautiful. The fact that he's fighting Yuji, who's still shining that light in the darkness despite everything, is giving him a bit of a crisis. Why did Yuji admit to that crime? He knows Judge Man's evidence before he actually opens it. He knows that the actual culprit of the Shibuya incident was Sukuna, not Yuji, so why did he plead guilty? Higuruma's technique ends and he's taken out with a punch to the gut. Despite being laid flat on his butt, Higuruma still has the energy to cite the Japanese penal code to lay out how Yuji's actually innocent. Despite Higuruma explaining pretty clearly why Yuji isn't guilty, Yuji still insists on admitting fault. Yuji says as much because he thinks he was too weak to do what he was supposed to and keep Sukuna at bay. Higuruma gets up and takes a seat, ready to give Yuji his 100 points. Why? Because Higuruma got back to his roots. Having taken a seat, Higuruma asks if Yuji has ever killed someone on purpose. 
Yuji says that he has, and Higuruma notes how miserable that must have felt as the chapter ends with a scene of Higuruma standing over two corpses. I'm just gonna say it right now, this chapter was amazing! The action was top-notch visually, and that spice of philosophy was… perfection. The parallels between Yuji and Higuruma are becoming clearer, as they both fight in spite of their doubts, fully accepting their role to help people. You could say that Higuruma is a Yuji who looked into the darkness of humanity and blinked. I'm just glad he's finally seeing the light again. In conclusion, this chapter is a 10 out of 10. It's good, you know that, I know that, everyone knows it. Have you ever thought really hard about a good chapter? I'm pretty sure that's where this came from. Please like and subscribe since it helps this channel grow, and as always, this is your host Fury, signing out.